Welcome to Season 3 of E-Commerce Fastlane, Episode 84. Welcome to E-Commerce Fastlane, the podcast show to help you build, launch, grow, and scale a wildly successful e-commerce company. Listen to real conversations with proven practical strategies and success stories. Learn how to generate more traffic, more sales, more profit, and customer lifetime value for your Shopify store. And now, your host and e-commerce entrepreneur, Steve Hyde. Thanks for listening in today. This episode is brought to you by Just Uno, an incredible Shopify app. Do you want your on site lead capture to drive more revenue, delight shoppers, and convert more visitors? Then you have to check out Just Uno. They're an on site visitor conversion platform that has been designed to help businesses like you collect more leads and take their customer journey to the next level. You want to learn even more? You should Totally check out episode 21, where I've interviewed the co-founder and CEO, Eric Christensen, about how retailers can maximize their traffic and revenue and stop leaving money on the table. You know, getting the promotional strategy isn't always easy, and that's where Just Uno Plus comes in. You get exclusive access to AI-powered product recommendations, plus a dedicated conversion strategist for support and optimization. And for listeners looking to take their business to the next level, Just Uno is now offering 15% off exclusively for e-commerce Fastlane listeners. So go to justuno.com, use the coupon code Fastlane15, that will give you 15% off and you can start optimizing your conversion rate today. Hey there, it's Steve, and welcome back to the e-commerce Fastlane podcast. Now, if this is your first time listening, this is an e-commerce show where we have honest and transparent conversations about building and thriving with your store powered by Shopify or Shopify Plus. Now, new episodes are available each week with your favorite podcast player through iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, and Spotify, or you can also sign up online at ecommercefastlane.com and be notified when a new show is being released. Now, my guest on today's episode is Michael Epstein, who is the co-founder from Postpilot. They're a platform and an app that helps you combat the rising PPC costs and decreasing email engagement with personalized and segmented postcard campaigns. This, we're going old school here, and you'll be very surprised about the increased LTV and the profits that are happening with brands that are making the decision to actually use postcard marketing as part of an overall channel strategy. So it's a very interesting, very impactful show. I'm glad you're here. So let's jump in. So hi, Michael. Welcome to e-commerce Fastlane. Thanks, Steve. Thanks so much for having me. My pleasure. So let's talk on a high level first. What does, other than postcard marketing, but I think you may have your own story, your own spin on this, but what sort of problem are you solving for Shopify store owners? Sure. So Postpilot's a Shopify app, and we make it ridiculously easy and cost-effective to create and send a personalized postcard campaign, as you mentioned, to drive higher LTV and profitability. So I think we all know that acquiring a customer is expensive and getting more expensive. A lot of e-commerce stores are barely even profitable on their first order once you factor in cost of goods, acquisition costs, overhead, and it's just getting harder and harder with the rising PPC and cost per acquisition and email inbox is getting more and more cluttered. So with a postcard campaign, you can get really up to 28 times better engagement than an email campaign and often for less than the cost of a single click. It used to be that sending a postcard campaign was more difficult. Uh, You had to export a list and you had clunky spreadsheets and then you had to find a printer and a designer. And (laughs) and then if you wanted to send another campaign, you had to start that process all over again. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, But we've really made it a really super simple. You can have these targeted, individually personalized postcard campaigns designed and sent literally within a few minutes, and it's all right in the app. You can see your ROI right in the dashboard. And bottom line, if you can create an email campaign, you'll have no problem creating a really effective postcard campaign. I know uh, somewhere throughout this episode, I'm going to ask a couple of questions about maybe the tactics and the why behind wanting to do this sort of thing. And I think the 
differentiation of your brand versus others because I think that it's uh, it's it's an older school tactic that's been around for a long time, but it's been kind of forgotten or not executed well. But it seems to be slowly coming back into the fold as a way to differentiate yourself and to get the attention. You said the inboxes are jammed. It's a noisy web out there. So it's very interesting when a physical piece of mail shows up. And we'll talk about maybe the tactics behind when you should do a campaign, the types of campaigns to re-engage customers or thank them for their order. And I'm sure we'll dig into a few of those in a moment. So let's talk about how you believe that, you know, both you and your co-founder, Drew Sanaki, how you both have the desire and the expertise to want to create this platform. Sure thing. So Drew and I both started and and ran successful e-commerce retailers early on from around 2000 to 2010. And we both exited to private equity. And one of the tactics that we had a lot of success with was direct mail and specifically postcards. And as I mentioned before, back then it was not easy. But as we've worked on kind of strategy and operations for a large number of e-commerce retailers, we've always been big proponents of lifecycle marketing and retention because that's what drives revenue and profitability. So we were actually looking to buy or build a a direct mail SaaS company because we know it works and we wanted to make it easy for online stores. So uh, we found our third partner, Matt, who's a really great and talented developer. His family has really deep roots in the direct mail business And he was building this really elegant app, but he needed help bringing it to market. So Drew and I uh, invested in the company and came on as partners to help build it out and scale it. From there, I understand there's been quite a bit of traction, I guess, from customers that really are looking for this sort of thing. Because, I mean, I have a few brands that are using your solution and, and it's part of a tactic that I recommend, like I said, at the top of the show to differentiate. Are there other people in the market that are recommending this solution and are they getting the same sort of results with with the brands that they manage? Yeah, definitely. And if if you can indulge me to name drop uh, for for a second, (laughs) (laughs) uh, you've got uh, Andrew Udarian at e-commerce fuel, Austin Bronner and Andrew Foxwell at e-com influence, uh, Steve Chu at my wife quit her job, just did a really awesome case study on his Mm. site and had a lot of Mm. success with his brand. Uh, Mike Jackness at Ecom Crew. We've just been really uh, happy with with all the buzz and recommendations we've been getting from some of the top people in e-commerce, and really excited to see it become kind of part of the standard marketing tech stack for D 2 C e-commerce retailers. Yeah, I could definitely see that happening for sure. I'll make sure in the show notes I'll put links to a couple of those case studies and stuff. Uh, Steve Chu and a few others. So. Let's talk about direct mail. I've used the word old school maybe a little bit too many times so far in this episode, but you saying it's working, a lot of brands are not doing it. So why is it working and why do a lot of people think it's old school? Yeah, it's a great question and a very fair question. I mean, there've been numerous studies by the Association of National Advertisers that show the effectiveness of direct mail, but I think just to point out one really recent article on WashingtonPost.com that talks a lot about the popularity and the resurgence of direct mail campaigns among big D2C brands like Native, mm-hmm. Casper, Harry's, Away, Luggage. There's fashion brands, pet brands, betting brands, a lot of supplements and food companies. Mm-hmm. And why are they doing this? I mean, it's because it works. I mean, these are these brands have have realized that the the email inbox is just getting more cluttered. You know, most people, a 20% open rate for their email campaign is is pretty good. So that means 80% of people are either not opening the messages or not even on their list. And meanwhile, they're getting hammered with banner ads that they've really learned to just completely ignore. And, you know, that article just really talked a lot about how it quoted a lot of these marketing executives talking about just the unique sensation of checking your mail. And it's true because there have been numerous studies showing that people actually like receiving direct mail and that they actually read it. It's almost more like a gift from the company. And I think that's Mm -hmm. why it gets up to 20 times better engagement than email, up to 10 times better response rates. I mean, the difference is, is really just off the charts. But I think to your point, They know that you can target and segment your customers with the tools that are available today as easily as you can 
with an email campaign. So they're sending really highly relevant messages to people that are already engaged with your brand. And the fact that it integrates directly with Shopify makes it, there's just a really easy self-serve solution. We offer templates and pre-configured best practice segmentation, Mm -hmm. and it's just easy to track right in an online dashboard so you can see your return on ad spend. Yeah, you know, I talk about the unboxing experience quite a bit with the brands that I manage and, uh, you know, Apple being the <laughs> the de facto standard. But from there, these direct-to-consumer brands, these digitally native vertical brands, they tend to really want to differentiate themselves. And you make a really good point that if the unboxing experience is important to a brand, then so is the post-purchase follow-up and that's where Postpilot fits into the equation where you can actually create campaigns directly connected to your Shopify store and you can choose when these campaigns are being triggered. Hey, your bed is on the way or thanks for buying that pillow. Uh, here you go. And oh, and by the way, here's a coupon for something into the future or, you know, or thanks for just being a customer, you know, pass this card on to a friend. And, and I know there's links and stuff in Postpilot's uh, website that show uh, what success looks like and what others have done. I know it'll inspire a lot of those that are listening today that there's a very inexpensive way of testing this sort of thing with your actual customers and their purchase history. You mentioned a little bit about email and we talk about personalization quite a bit day to day. We always talk about let's stop batch and blast because it just doesn't work anymore. And it's going to the promotions tab or it's going into spam. And there's lots of interesting issues about deliverability as it comes to email. And then people are moving into Facebook Messenger or they're doing push notifications or text message. They're doing other different channel tactics, trying to get the awareness and the attention of their customers. You're suggesting that that really gets their attention when a piece of mail comes in from a brand that you've just made a purchase from. And so let's talk about how it compares, I guess, the ability, number one, to personalize and segment. Because I think a lot of people in email still to this day are this batch and blast kind of thing, or they really have not tagged and understanding, you called it life cycle marketing and where the customer is in their journey. I'd love to hear how you guys are positioning the product and how you're able to personalize and segment a campaign. Yeah, I think you raise a really important point. And if you're not doing segmentation within your your marketing campaigns, you know, if you're just employing this batch and blast strategy, you know, you're not going to get the same type of results and it's going to get you know, you're not going to get the same sort of ROI. So, for brands that are starting to get a little more sophisticated and, and using real actual segmentation and personalization with their campaigns, we like to think you can do the exact same thing with a postcard campaign using Postpilot. You can build segments using any of the same kind of criteria that you could imagine segmenting in an email campaign, you know, when you bought, what you bought, how much you spent, where you are, what you did or didn't do, you can create a one-off send to a particular segment, or you can create an automated flow. So a lot of people are creating triggers and workflows in their email campaigns. You can do the same thing with a postcard campaign with one-to-one personalization. You can even insert dynamic text fields similar to how you might do it in, in an email campaign. So you can dynamically add their name or other attributes of the customer directly into the creative that appears on the postcard, which is also just a really important way to increase engagement and performance of your campaigns, really in any channel, but but certainly in postcards as well. Now, since you have a Shopify app, obviously you're tightly connected to the customer record and their purchase history. And as you said, you know, the RFM, this recency, frequency, and monetary side of it, just the whole life cycle of the customer. And so can you walk us through how somebody, it's hard sometimes in audio to do it easier, maybe on a video, but can you walk us through how to create a postcard campaign in Postpilot? Sure. It's actually really simple. You can either upload your own design if you have one. Uh, You can use one of our pre-made templates and it's easy to customize those in just a few clicks. And we also have a a user-friendly drag and drop design tool that you can build something from scratch or upload one of your own designs and then customize it further from there. And it's easier than using Photoshop. It's if you've used kind of a drag and drop editor in, in an email platform or, or other tool, it's going to be very comparable to that. Uh, and again, the key is adding the personalization elements. So we really encourage our customers to add these dynamic 
text fields where they can address the customer by name. And that's going to really help with the performance of their campaigns. Absolutely. Yeah. So let's talk about some effective postcard campaigns, because I think the listeners today would agree that it's definitely going to differentiate themselves. I like the dynamic text fields and the personalization part of it. I love how there's some flows and triggers based on your particular business, those that are listening in today. So let's talk about what success looks like. You obviously have a a large pool of customers that are continuing to use your service because they're getting value out of it. Let's talk about some of the ones that you believe are working today. Yeah, absolutely. So if you have a campaign that's working really well, an email campaign that's working really well for you, you could start by just flipping that into a postcard campaign. So kind of take the same segmentation, use a lot of the same creative that you've already built out for that successful email campaign, flip it into a postcard campaign, and you're going to get incremental results from that. You know, some of the best practices made it really easy by creating these pre-built segments. So they're kind of already configured for you in the app. Some of those are like a second purchase campaign. Your mission after you acquire a customer is to get them to come back because that's where up to 90% of your profitability comes from. So creating a second purchase campaign, a cross-sell campaign. So you bought X, uh, here's an incentive to buy Y, a win back campaign. So we haven't seen you in a while. Here's an incentive to come back. You can even do an abandoned cart postcard campaign. So again, for if you you might have one set up an email, but a lot of people aren't opening that. Uh, So you can easily do that with a postcard as well. You could send it to VIPs and you could do, you could promote any sort of big seasonal or holiday events. And I think a key aspect to using postcards to promote big events like a Mother's Day sale or a spring sale or Black Friday is that you don't deal with the jacked up PPC cost. It's a fixed cost. So a lot of people, when you want to promote around these big holidays or big events, you're competing with every other company that's also trying to do the same thing. And you see your your PPC costs kind of going through the roof. Well, that doesn't happen with a postcard campaign. So we're typically seeing return on ad spend for these kinds of campaigns in the 6 to 12 X range, and Mm -hmm. in some cases, a whole lot higher. But I'd say that that's a pretty typical range. And then you wrap a good point about loyalty and rewards, because I think this is a strategy that a lot of brands are doing. Some need to really start doubling down and executing on it, because you're right, the, the customer acquisition costs are quite high at the beginning, and part of the life cycle marketing is, is how do we get the second and third sale, and how do they become brand loyalists? Because you don't want them to churn and leave, and so the idea here is that you can trigger certain things. I'm thinking about how do we get the retention part of it, and Quite a few Shopify solutions are using, you know, some of the major players out there to run their loyalty program, but Smile uh, or Swell or Loyalty Lion, Referral Candy. These are some of the biggies out there that I would say a lot of the Shopify brands are using. So if these particular solutions are triggering an event, spend a little bit more, or you've earned this many points, are you able to talk about maybe how some of these loyalty programs that are a third-party solution to Shopify and how they may work in relation to Postpilot? I think that, you know, postcard campaign would be a complement for a lot of the loyalty programs that you may or may have in your store. So again, kind of getting that second purchase is so key and you can set rules based on any different criteria such as how long ago they bought, what they bought, how much they spent. And it's a great compliment to encourage that repeat purchase behavior. So Michael, we have a very diverse, I'm sure you can appreciate a very diverse range of listeners uh, on e-commerce Fastlane. And since you deal with lots of entrepreneurs, their stores are powered by Shopify. If they're in early stage, can you give some advice that you believe that they should be working on today to help their business grow? Absolutely. And I've been there myself, so I, I feel it. One thing that's really important thing for business owners to understand is there's really only three ways to grow a business. One is to get more customers. Two is to get your existing customers to place more orders. So mm-hmm. frequency, we right. talked about RFM earlier. And, and the third is to get your customers to spend more. So that's the M. A lot of business owners think that if you want to double your business, you have to go out and double the number of customers you acquire. And that's really hard to do. Mm -hmm. But actually, if you just increase each one of those three items by 
30% each, you've more than doubled your business. You can check my math, but it's much more feasible to think that you just need to grow, get 30% more customers or get your customers to, to buy just 30% more times or spend 30% more uh, rather than doubling any one of those things. And to tie it to Postpilot, we really help with the second two. So you talked a lot about retention. We're helping get your customers to come back and buy more often. Right. And on top of that, a lot of studies have shown that they typically spend more uh, than your average customer. So customers exposed to both digital and direct mail marketing are spending 25% more on average. So you're almost there on that one just by adding this to your channel strategy. So it almost it seems like customers that that engage with this kind of postcard campaign are almost ambassadors or, you know, they're just, they have a really, it's almost like it improves the brand affinity by getting a postcard campaign delivered to them. Yeah, it, it absolutely does. So what about those that are listening today that would be considered in the mid-market? So they're likely on Shopify Plus. They'll have a small team. They could be working with an agency partner, but they really are eager to grow and scale. In your opinion, because you've been there and you've taken exits and so has Drew, what do you believe the executive team or the marketing team, what sort of things should they be working on? Sure. I think it, it actually speaks to the point that you just mentioned around brand affinity. It's, it's really about creating these deeper connections with your customers. And if you're just building a, simply a transactional relationship, you're just a faceless brand and you're trying to just focus on getting the lowest price in a commoditized market, you're not only not setting yourself up for success, but in the age of Amazon and so many brands just fighting for attention and mindshare, it's, mm -hmm. it's going to be really tough to survive. So creating these sort of unique and delightful touch points they don't only help you drive increased ROI, but they're also reinforcing that brand identity and helping to generate more brand affinity. So let's talk about the future for uh, Postpilot. Are you able to share any North Star, any highlights for your 2020 roadmap, any partner alignment? I guess I understand you're recently connected to Clavio. Is there anything else that you can uh, chat about? Sure. So we did re recently launch a Clavio integration. So all of your, any segments you've created in Clavio, you can easily just imported to Postpilot. We're expanding our partner network into Europe. So for those that are outside the US uh, or have customers that are outside the US, we're gonna be able to offer even faster and less expensive international options. Uh, and we're working with a lot more agencies now who can help build and manage campaigns on behalf of their own clients, similar to how they might manage uh, email or paid campaigns. And there's, you know, there's always a ton more that we're working on, uh, but those are probably some of the, the bigger highlights. I'm thinking too about Canada. Is there opportunities for our Canadian customers? Yeah, we do uh, mail to anywhere in the world today, but it originates from the U.S., so it takes a little bit longer. That's why, you know, for particularly for our European customers, having it originate from a European printer will increase the speed of delivery. So for those uh, in Canada that service Canadian customers, yeah, I guess it would be just adding a couple extra days since it's the, the origin is from the U.S. It can still land in through Canada Post. I guess it starts through UPS or United States Postal Service, USPS, and then it moves its way to Canada Post at the border and just being a postcard, easy to be delivered after a, a couple extra days once it clears customs, which is not an issue. So that's really cool. But well, thank you for, for sharing that. We are uh, nearing the end of the show for today. I really do appreciate all the comments and all the information that you've shared today. Do you have any closing comments or any takeaways that you would like to leave their listeners today? If you're an e-commerce store owner and you're facing the challenge of rising PPC costs, decreasing email engagement, you should really be looking at direct mail as part of your marketing channel strategy. It's going to drive really high ROI you know, you can have all in cost under 70 cents a card, including postage, printing and delivery. And that's why so many e-commerce store owners are turning to direct mail now as a, a really profitable new channel. Yeah, it's very affordable at 70 cents for like all in delivered and stuff to, you know, to allow someone literally to take a minute or two to pause when this mail comes in, because we all flip through our mail. First of all, mail in, in, in my mailbox physically is few and far between. Like most days I show up, there's nothing in there. 
But if there's a, another piece of mail that's unique and different, like I'm going to pull it out and take a look at it. And so there is that attention part of it. And for 70 cents to have that opportunity to be able to say, wow, thanks for buying my blanket or thanks for buying these supplements or whatever your product is. I think that's very interesting to set that tone right away that you appreciate their business or their cart was abandoned or, hey, thanks for your first purchase. You know, come on by and pick up your second uh, order. I think it's so interesting that that opportunity and that segmentation and that personalization is available. So very, very cool. How can people learn more about the Postpilot app and the platform and how it all works? Sure. You can go to postpilot.com. And of course, we're in the app store, appshop.shopify.com slash postpilot. And I'll make sure in the show notes, I'll put links to all this kind of stuff, the uh, the app, your website. We also did uh, speak offline too. And I understand that you have an offer that you would like to share with our listeners today. Yeah, absolutely. So anyone that signs up, we have free concierge onboarding. So anything from designing, helping design the campaign, building the segments, anything that you need to get your campaign launched will personally help you one-on-one. -on -one. And we also are offering 15% uh, off your campaign with promo code FASTLANE15. Very cool. What I'll do is I will redirect ecommercefastlane.com forward slash post pilot. That's P O S T and then pilot. And that will redirect to the landing page to just share more details of this uh, concierge onboarding and the 15% off and the coupon code. So I think that's awesome. Thank you so much for, for sharing that. It's clear that postcard marketing really will help amplify whatever a Shopify brand is currently doing, you know, even if it's mimicking what's going on in email or push or Facebook, whatever you're currently doing, there's ways of using those sorts of segments and language and or templates and things that you've already created. I mean, this, I know it's an ongoing process of expanding your list of templates and things that can be modified and dragged and dropped. So I think that's excellent. End of the day, I think it really does truly generate more loyalty, like higher profits, better ROI. And I think that's what we want to do. We want to differentiate the brand. And I know postcard campaign through Postpilot is definitely a way to help that. So thanks, Michael. I really appreciate it. Thanks for coming on the show and sharing your obvious passion to wanting to help these Shopify brands. Thanks so much, Steve. Really enjoyed it. Looking to scale your e-commerce business and implement some proven strategies to grow your brand? Don't forget about our podcast sponsor, Just Uno, the leading on-site visitor conversion platform. If you're interested in optimizing your website experience with AI-powered product recommendations, intelligent personalization, and a bunch of other amazing features to help you grow and scale, head on over to justuno.com. Don't forget about the exclusive e-commerce Fastlane discount, 15% off. Use the coupon code Fastlane15. Well, that's it for today's episode. I'd like to thank you, a loyal listener of e-commerce Fastlane. It's my hope that this podcast is offering you a ton of value through growth strategies, tactics, and exclusive insider tips on the best Shopify apps and marketing platforms, all with my personal goal to help you build, launch, grow, and scale with Shopify. Thanks for investing some time today and listening to the show. I'm so proud and excited that you have a growth mindset and are a constant learner. I truly appreciate you and your entrepreneurial journey. Enjoy the rest of the week and keep thriving with Shopify.